guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how to make an easy and inexpensive Easter egg topiary. Yesterday I shared a video of what I got my kids for Easter in their Easter baskets and I got to looking at the baskets and I thought those would make a perfect Easter egg. Now I used some flower pots to make a huge Easter egg for my front porch so I decided hey these will make nice medium sized Easter eggs. So I ran back to Dollar Tree today and I picked up six of the Easter baskets. So you'll want to remove the handle and I am just hot gluing my Easter baskets together. You could use some E6000 and a combination of the hot glue if you wanted to. I am using Gorilla Glue hot glue. These are so simple to make and they turn out so cute. You do not have to stack yours like I did. You can leave them separate as individuals and they look precious. So here's how they look when you get them hot glued together. And yes, they have a little spot where the handle was attached, but you can cover that up with some ribbon. When I made my large Easter egg with the two large flower pots, I spray painted them. So you could spray paint these if you wanted to or paint them however you would like. I just kept mine simple and used ribbon. My Easter baskets didn't want to line up just perfect, so you have, kind of have to go back in and fill in with some hot glue around the edges, then let it have time to sit and dry. I made a total of three Easter eggs, so this is how they look when you get them put together. Next, I'm going to be adding some ribbon. Now you could paint these however you would like. I'm not that great at painting, so I decided to add ribbon. So I just cut a band of ribbon for the center. The ribbon I am using came from Dollar Tree, so I'm just hot gluing my ribbon onto the center of my egg. I went back and added a few dots of hot glue so that my ribbon would stay in place all around the egg because it kind of wanted to dip down a little bit lower in the back, so I just added a dot of hot glue and placed it in the hot glue, and so it looks really cute once you get it wrapped with ribbon. And if you've been watching my channel for very long, you know I love to add big bows to just about everything I make. This ribbon is not the easiest to work with. It's not like a real sturdy ribbon, but it will make a pretty bow. You just have to be patient with it. So I just basically used one whole roll for this bow because I wanted it to go on the very top of the Easter egg. I have lots of bow tutorials on my channel. So if you don't like this bow, let me know and I'll link a bow tutorial for you. This is not one of my better bows, but like I said, sometimes the ribbon, the quality is not great, so it's a little more difficult to work with, but it still will turn out pretty, just be patient. I decided to stack my three eggs, one on top of the other, so I decided that this purple one was going to go on the very top, so I added the bow to the very top of it, and then I also added a bow around the middle where the band of ribbon is. And then for the other two, the pink one and the turquoise one, I added just a band of ribbon around the middle and then I tied a pretty double bow for the center of the band. All of my materials came from Dollar Tree, so this is a very easy and inexpensive DIY that looks super cute for Easter. Whatever color egg you choose for the bottom, make sure you put a little weight in that egg so that that way it won't tip over. First, after I got these made, I put them um, on my hearth on the right side and I thought it looked so pretty and then I decided to take it outside so I think it would look pretty like to make two and have one on the left side and the right side of your front porch and so here I just hot glued my bows onto the little Easter eggs and here's one of the double bows I made so I just used a pipe cleaner to wrap it nice and tight around the center of the bow then I cut the pipe cleaner short and then I just took some hot glue and placed it on my bow and then placed the bow on the center of the little band of ribbon and held it for a little while. You'll want to hold it for just a little while so that the glue has time to dry so that your bow stays in place. I think it looks adorable just leaving it just like this as a single Easter egg. But like I said, I went ahead and I hot glued all three of my Easter eggs together. So here's how the pink one looks and I just love the ribbon with that. And then there's all three together. And so as you can see, the purple one is my top one because it has the bow on the very top. Don't forget before you hot glue the one that's going to be on the bottom to drop a few rocks or something heavy in it to weight it down. But if you forget to, the positive thing is if this falls over, it's not breakable. So it's not going to break if it gets bumped or falls over. And then last, I'm just using some Gorilla Glue, hot glue, 
and going to hot glue all three Easter eggs together. So I'm just stacking my Easter eggs and I'm just going to let it sit for a little while and have time to dry before I move it. You could do a combination of the E6000 glue and hot glue, especially if you plan on putting this outside. When you have all three eggs stacked together, it's probably about three feet or so, maybe a little taller in height, so it's pretty big. If you have not seen the large Easter egg where I use the flower pots, I will link that tutorial for you below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and share. And also, if you don't mind, please leave me a comment.